students in the last lecture we have studied about various functions of management so in this lecture what we are going to study is what are all different forms of organization basically the simplest and uh, the most uh, commonly used the form of organization by an entrepreneur is the sole proprietorship type the sole proprietorship type has got advantages like quick decision making Okay, and you can maintain the secrecy, but then there are limitations with respect to the capital that we are going to use. The second form of organization is a partnership type of organization. In the partnership type of organization, a group of people with a common objective can come together. Okay, only what is expected here is that the partners should have some, you can say, complementary interest or the skills so that they can help each other to grow the business. Here also, there is a limitation about the funds that we are going to utilize and another problem with the partnership is that similar to the sole proprietorship type, okay, the firm's life is limited okay, as that of uh, the sole proprietorship. The third uh, type of uh, organization that is the companies which is again most commonly used. The companies have got all different classification. It can be a limited company, it can be a limited company, it can be a government organization, it can be a private limited. So, so many types are there and the advantage of that uh, the, uh, companies is that they are, uh, life is unlimited, okay, existence is lifelong, okay, and uh, so uh, companies, uh, they can uh, do the business on a larger scale, there is no limitation about the capital. Only thing is that they need to form all government rules and regulations and they should inform about the progress of the companies through uh, regular accounting and financial statements, balance sheet, profit and, account, uh, profit and loss account and they should make it public. Now another type of uh, common organization is a cooperative type of organization. In cooperative type of organization, a group of people with a common objective, they come together and they work for the benefit of the poor and the weaker sections of the society. Their societies can be a credit cooperative society, it can be a producer cooperative society, it can be a consumer cooperative society, it can be a marketer's cooperative society, or it can be a farming cooperative society. Likewise, okay, they are good people, people come together and they function for the benefit of the members. Okay, housing cooperative is also uh, one of the common type of cooperative society that we observe. Uh, so all these we are going to study, we are going to study characteristics of each, we are going to study merits and demerits and then uh, we will study which type of organization okay, uh, that one has to select based on the objective. Also we will have some of the activities in between to, con uh, to confirm okay, the takeaways from this session. Thank you very much for watching this lecture.